Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a little different, but kind of the same. We're going to look at the simple task of changing the battery in some of our favorite classic cartridges. You know, it's the battery that keeps the clock alive and our memory saves intact so we can continue to play our game. But since it's summertime here in southwestern Pennsylvania, the kids are out of school and I thought, Perhaps it's a good time to take a look at a STEM class of sorts. So I got my little helper that you've seen in some of my other videos to come down to the shop, sit at the bench, and she's going to learn how to solder up some batteries. So if you stick around, we'll show you how to get that done. All right, on the bench today, we have some battery changes. And since it's summer vacation, I figured it was a good time to have a little bit of a STEM class um, to help keep knowledge fresh. And of course, the whole science and technology and math, um, you know, they're, they're making a big push in schools and I'm glad for that. Um, so today we have my little helper and Hi. she is gonna do all the work. I've given her a crash course in, in what to expect. And um, of course, she's gonna, she's gonna try to do this on her own, but we'll keep her on the right track. So go ahead and tell everybody what we're doing. Um, we're gonna be changing the battery in Pokemon Ruby. Why do we have to change the battery? Because the battery is dead and it's <laughs> not working. Okay, so if the battery's dead and not working, what happens to the game? It doesn't turn on. No, it doesn't save the, the it doesn't keep the save. So you lose your progress and you lose your game. That makes more sense. Yeah, that's how the old cartridges were. We had these battery saves instead of a, a flash ROM or uh, some other static memory. So, okay, so what do we need to do first? Um, we need to turn it over and take out the screw. What kind of screw is that? The three... Tri-wing. Tri-wing, there we go. And then you gotta line up the screwdriver. Wait. Push it in nice and nice and firm. Oh. And give it a twist. There we go. I Can I show you something? Yeah. All right. So this kind of spins. So if you put your hand on top of it and twist, then you can push down, and you can twist all in together. There you go. And then. Set that where we're not going to lose it. Over there. All right, good job. And then you like slide the case apart. Slide the case apart. Yeah, that's okay. Go ahead answer. and tip it out and set it out on our on our board. All right, let's move these out of the way so we don't accidentally bump them or break them. So this battery's from like 2008, I think that's what it says. Three. Looks like it. Looks like an eight to me. Yeah. All right, so so that battery's probably dead, right? Yes. How do we know it's dead? Um, we use the little voltage thing. The voltage thing. The voltage thing. All right, what do you do with that voltage thing? You use the thing. How do we turn it on? Um, you, is that right, or is it supposed to be in the middle? The voltage. There we go. And then take this, mm -hmm. and then you use the little battery. And then you go. Don't be afraid to poke the little tips right into the edges of the battery. Oh wait, it's supposed to be more here then. Or where is this supposed to Are be? Are we getting nothing? We're getting nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Yeah, because... So is that battery dead? Very. All right, why don't you check that new battery sitting up there that we got setting? Just to make sure. So this is the plus side, I think? Mm-hmm. And then we go. What do you got? Uh, three point three two nine, which is. What's what? What was right there? Minus. Minus. What does that tell you? Why is it minus? That these are the wrong way. They're the wrong way, right? So you have the positive lead on the mo negative side, and you have the negative lead on the positive side. But then. So go ahead and check it again. Now. We got. Positive 3.3. Okay, so we know that the meter's working. Yep. And we know that 
that battery is good and the battery on the board is completely dead. Completely. All right, so let's put this aside. Do I just put these on the floor? Yep. All right, so what do we need to do to get that battery off there? Uh, we have to use the soldering machine. Yep, yep. And now we get the torture device, as I like to call it. Wait, do, I, do you just bend it? Just, you can bend it and squeeze it. Now just make sure you don't put it on anything important. So there's little sections you can get to. Like that? Yep. Okay. Okay. And then you get the blue tool thing. You can use a spudger or your fingers, however you want to. And then, like, wait, how did you get under? Oh. Just like that. So you can use a spudger to help lift the battery if you don't want to use your fingers, in case you're afraid you get burnt. So go ahead and get the iron. And you have to wait for it to beep. Why do we have to wait for it to beep? To make sure it's hot enough. Yep. There we go. Now just carefully put it on the blob of solder, and then you're going to twist that spudger. You're going to probably have to put just a little bit of pressure. Wait. It'll take a second. Oh, it's melting. Yep. That's fine. And then... No, you got to keep the iron on the... Oh, I have to keep it on? Mm-hmm. There you go. Did I click? Did you lift it up? Um, Here, hold on. Why don't we get this out of the way for a second? Go ahead, put it underneath. And give it a good little... You don't have to use a lot of pressure, but you just gotta give it a little bit of a twist as, your, as the solder melts to lift it up off the board. What is happening? Is it like... It takes a second for the solder to melt. Well, nothing's melting. Okay, let me see. Let me see the iron. Okay. Okay, so what's happened is you've lifted it most of the way out of the solder. So when you touch the top, you don't have any solder to really get it to flow. Also, you see how the tip has like two flat spots? Yeah. Okay. So what we want to do is make sure the flat is on there. So we're getting a lot of surface area. But like I said, up here, all that heat is just coming right into the old battery. So what we want to do is actually kind of come underneath it. Oh. Oh. And then we can lift it away. Okay? So I'm going to hold the battery this time in the board and go ahead and heat that up. Okay, here. Instead of using the tip, try to get the flat on that solder. Okay, just keep holding, keep holding it. Oh. We got to remove the part while it's still molting. There we go. Okay. And then you clean it. Well, here, why don't we do this? Why don't we go ahead and touch both of these and kind of just stir it around just for a second, and it will help even out that pool of solder. There we go. Just let it kind of flow around. That's good. We don't want to keep the heat on for too long because we don't want the board to get too hot. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. Go ahead and clean off the tip. Okay. Oops. It just sits in there. Oh. It doesn't click or anything. All right, so let's go ahead and clean up the board a, a bit. Let's get the old flux off. Okay. Get some alcohol. Oh, yes. Oh, what's... There we go. Make it nice. <laughs> get the alcohol. Rub it on. And you'll get the old burnt flux off. That looks great. Go ahead and do the top one. Looks great. Okay. Okay. Just set that aside. So now we got to put the battery back on. Yep. But we need to be very careful to not reverse the polarity. So what do we need to make sure? Um, that we have it on the right side. So like right there, there's a little plus, and there's a little. Minus on the side right there. Yep. And then you have to make sure you line up the battery the right way. Okay. So this side is minus. So this is, it goes this way because this is the minus side. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, this is the wrong battery. That's okay. Whoops. You can put the old one back on. Um, but this one is the plus side, I think. The plus is on top, yes. So that's my, wait. It's kind of hidden by the, the tab that's soldered on. So the top was positive, like you said. 
Yes, so okay. this is goes right to It's going to go that way. But go ahead and lift that off for a second. Okay. So what we want to do is get that flux over there in the little syringe. Yes. Okay. And just go ahead and put a little blob on both of those solder pads. Nice little dollop on each one. Like that much? Eh, maybe a little bit more. It doesn't matter. We can clean it off later if you put on too much. Like that? And, yeah. And put a little bit on the other side. There you go. Yeah, let me see. It was really hard. Yeah, I know. It's it's a thick paste. So oh, we're just like gonna, that yeah, much. Just, I thought it was just little dollop. That's fine. Go ahead and set that back. Solder's our friend, or uh, flux is our friend, right? Yep. Okay. What does flux do? Um, do you remember? Doesn't it like per, or like help the solder flow more? Exactly. It helps the solder flow. It, it kind of etches the metal and then it, pre it prepares the surfaces. So go ahead and set the, the battery back into position. This is the plus side, right? Mm-hmm. And then the plus lines up with the plus. Just like that. Perfect. Okay. And I'm just going to set my finger on it. Oh. And I'm, oh, hold on. It's like. No, we're good. Oh. It's just scooching it's around. It's not on it. What's not on? The battery. Oh, it's not on the back side. Okay. So let's go ahead and line up that one first. All right. So I'm going to just hold it in place for you. Go ahead and get the soldering iron. And what we're going to do is the soldering tip clean. Looks pretty clean. Yep. Go ahead and put a little solder right on the tip. Okay. Ooh, good. No, perfect. That's absolutely perfect. I'm going to move that aside. And just touch it right where the battery and that pad come together. Whoa. Go ahead and push it down. It's going to smoke a little bit. I want to touch right into that pad like that. Oh. Perfect. Perfect. And do you see how the solder flows yeah. up onto the battery? Okay. Then we're going to turn this around. Do we have to get more solder or is there enough on there? Nope, there's enough. And I'm going to just push that down and do the same thing. Push right into the pad. And, okay, pull it away. Blow the smoke. Did you see how the, the, the tab fell into the solder? Yeah. Okay. So right now, that's nice and soldered, both sides. So go ahead and clean off the tip and set, set the solder on the side. Okay. Good job. And go ahead and go ahead and get your Q-tip again. Put a little alcohol on the clean side. And go ahead and clean the flux off from around the battery. Perfect. And this time it's not so burnt, so you really just have to wipe it off. Yeah. Okay. So does everything look good? I think so. Okay. So should we put it back in its shell? Yep. There you go. Oh, should we test that battery? Should we check yes, it again? Yes, we should. Okay. To make sure we did not mess it up. To make sure we didn't do what? Uh, mess it up or something. Did you mess up somebody's cartridge? I don't think so. Do you know so. that Pokemon's, uh, the ruby is worth about $70? Yes. You know, if you mess it up, you got to pay the person who sent it in. Yes, I do know. Do you have, did you get your allowance this week? Not yet. <laughs> um, it looks pretty good. Yeah, it's fine. It's showing voltage. Yep. Was like if it was shorted out, it'd pull the voltage down pretty quick. Oh. So, all right. So go ahead and put it back in the shell. This side, I'm assuming, goes up because there's that like little thing. A little notch, okay. And then that. You had it right to begin with. Oh. The way. This way. Yeah. Oh, it's right there. And then and slide them together. Good. Flip it over and put the screw back in. Screw is right here. Is that right? Mm-hmm. You can like I showed you before, put your hand on top, use your fingers to twist it, and you can hold the cartridge with your other hand. There you go. Great. That's it. Absolutely great. So are we finished? Nope, because we, we got to check it. 
We should check it, exactly. So, let's get our checker. Does it go... Wait, which way? Down? That way. This way? Yep. Wait. There we go. Turn it on on this side. And then... It's very hard to see. Those are little. Do you want to use... No. The old glasses? Do you just <laughs> click it? Click it down to, to Game Boy. Game Boy. And push enter. Enter. Game, Game Boy, Boy Advanced. Advanced. Enter. Cartridge error. Uh-oh. Let me check. Why don't we clean it? Oh, yeah, we didn't clean it. We didn't clean it. We don't know how long that cartridge has been sitting around. So go ahead and give it a good cleaning. What's our Q-tip look like? Well, it's not too bad. Flip it over and... This way? No, no, no. Oh. Just so the, you got a clean edge. There we go. Okay. Make sure our switches are set right. All right. I'm going to kind of look over your shoulder. Go down to Game Boy. Enter. Mm-hmm. Game Boy Advanced. Which is the second one, right? Mm-hmm. There we go. What's it say? Um, Pokemon Ruby. Can't block the camera, you know. Oh, I forgot there's a <laughs> camera up there. All right, so we got Pokemon Ruby. So that's a good sign. So the yes. cartridge is working. So go ahead and push a button. Wait, which one? Doesn't matter. Okay, so let's go ahead and flash a game into it. So let's go ahead and say, flash. write, save. Oh, We're right. going to write it. Are you on right save? Yes. Okay. Um, Game Boy Advance GBA. The save. Nope. You just switched to wrong. Oops. Nope. Just push again. Don't go back. And then click. Yep. Save. Go ahead and the save. And what game was this? Ruby. Ruby. Okay. Ruby. We only have one file in Ruby, so go ahead and hit hit it again, the enter button. And then we want to use that one, yes. And it's writing the flash. Done. Verified. Verified. And it did it twice, and we got a green light. Yep. So is the cartridge good? Yes. Looks like. Go ahead and turn it off. Oh, not the save button. All right, pull it out. And we'll set this aside. Now we can bill a customer? Yep. Do you have to make the money or do I get it? I think you get the money. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. Now we have Pokemon Gold. Yep. All right, so go ahead and flip it over. It has a sticker on it. It does have a sticker, but since it's a customer's, we don't want to remove the sticker. Because nope. we don't know if they want that or not. Okay, so we always leave that on. So, what's that look like? A tire? Like the inside of a tire. <laughs> it looks like the inside of a tire. So is that the same kind of screw? No. Okay, no. Those are called game bits. And a lot of the other companies, Nintendo, Sega, a few of the others used them. Okay? So that's a small game bit. Let me get it for you. Okay. It's way over there. Okay, there How you go. How did you put it over there? Ooh, I can reach it when I'm working. Oh, well, I can. So go ahead and do it. And it's the same way. You're going to have to kind of twist it to feel it engage. It's going to... Oh, wait. Yeah, that feels pretty good. Okay, go ahead and twist it to undo it. Whoopsies. Put your hand on top, just like before. There you go. And then twist it. And I'll hold the cartridge. Okay. I think that's out the whole way. Nope. Well, maybe not. There, there we, we go. go. Let's set it somewhere where we know it's at. I'll set that there. And now then, this cartridge comes apart the same way. It kind of slides apart. There you go. Set the cover up here. So we don't accidentally melt it or bump it with a tool. So and we can take the cartridge out and set the other shell up there. All right. So this is kind of the same thing. It's just a bigger battery. The battery's pink. Ooh. It is. What's it the date 005. on it? zero five. Says 05 on it. Yeah. So, all right, so go ahead and get your soldering iron. Make sure the tip's clean. Mm, I think that looks pretty clean. Is it shiny or is it black? It's shiny. Okay, 
So let's go ahead. I'm just going to help lift this corner again. Go ahead and... Oh, what was like that a, oil? Uh, Probably just a little dot of solder came off. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to lift it up. Go ahead. But, but it's like yellow on the solder. Oh, it's just old flux. It's just burnt oh. on. Oh. You can, you can see it. And when the flux gets hot, old flux is hard, okay? Um, so it's, it's kind of like crystallized, like a piece of amber. Okay. Oh. So when it gets hot, it turns liquidy. And that's why, if you look here, see how the tip has gotten dark? Yep. Okay, so go ahead and clean the tip. And go ahead and hang it up, because we don't need it for a second. And you're going to go ahead and clean the, the, the old flux off. Can I just use this Q-tip? That's fine. It's like squeegee. Mm -hmm. There's some flux stuck in the corner. It's fine. It looks good. Okay. This just needs tossed. That needs tossed. All right. So let's look at the board. What kind of batteries it say we could use? A CR2025. Okay. This one's a little bit bigger, but mm -hmm. that's fine because this shell has more space. So it'll still work? It'll still work. This is a, a CR2032. Uh, it's a little fatter. But the nice thing is these Pokemon cartridges mm -hmm. have a clock built into them. So even when you're not playing them, it uses the battery. Uh, so the larger battery will just last longer. Okay. This will probably last 10 years. Really? Yep. Yep. But what should we do to make sure that we're putting in a good battery? We didn't even test the other one. Eh, it's dead. I guarantee that one's dead. <laughs> These Pokemon cartridges with uh, uh, the clocks in them eat the batteries. So is the battery good? Yep. Okay. 3.345. Good. So set it aside. Floor these. All right. So let's go ahead and put a little bit of flux on top of those solder pads. It's good. Mm hmm Okay, um, perfect. Yeah. All right, so markings on the board. Where's our positive, where's our negative? That says negative, that says positive. Okay, why is that important? Because if you put it in the wrong way, you can damage the game. Exactly, exactly. So which side on that battery is positive? Well, it's probably this side because there's a giant plus. You can see the plus on that one, right? All right, so where's the plus going? Right there. Okay, so go ahead and set it, just set it right on top. Mm -hmm. And this one's a little bit easier because it's flat. You don't have to get up oh, and the, around the chip like on the Game Boy. Like, oh, the solder's like right there. Oops. You might want to just put the solder on the little thing. There we go. Okay. Solder it time. Now we have to wait for it to beep. Mm -hmm. And this one we're going to add a little bit of solder at the end. Good. Use the flat edge, make sure it's on the tip, and go ahead and give it a little pressure. Let it melt together. Okay, lift it up. We don't want to let it on the board that long. Oh. So let's go ahead and just get in right here and help that solder melt. Okay. So that kind of holds us in place. Yeah, we're definitely going to need more on that one. Okay. So what we're going to do on this side, we're just going to hold it straight and hit the solder blob, not necessarily the tab. Go, go ahead and do it again. And then go ahead and push on top of the tab. There it goes. And see how it flows all together? Yep. All right. So that flux helps all that flow together. So let's come back on this side because it looks a little dry. Don't, can you see what I'm saying yeah. by dry? What do you think I mean by dry? There's like not a lot of solder. Right. So we're going to do this. Hold the solder in your other hand. Okay. Why don't you clean the tip off real quick? Okay. What you're going to do is you're going to put the... F no, we're not going to do it that way. We're going to put the flat side of the soldering iron directly on that tab. And then you're going to feed about a quarter inch of that solder after. So go ahead and put the tip on the, on the battery. And then go ahead and feed the solder. Oh. You're fine. Go ahead and feed the solder. Feed the solder, feed the solder, feed the solder. There you go. There, that looks much better. Yep. Oh, 
and our solder, our battery soldered. Okay. Okay. Hey, what is that solder made out of? Lead and aluminum, or er, not al tin. Tin. Good. So we definitely don't want to put these in our mouth. Okay. No. You're gonna wash your hands very thoroughly yes. afterwards. All right. Go. So go ahead and hang up the soldering iron. I'll clean it off. There we go. Go ahead and check our battery. And make sure you use the right lead on the right side. So red is right. Red is positive or negative? Um, ne positive. Positive. So put that one on our plus. And put the black one on our negative. We got 3.3 .3 volts, and is it positive or negative on here? Uh, positive. Good. That means we didn't put the battery in backwards. Yep. All right. So that one's done. If you want to clean it up a little bit with a new Q-tip and some alcohol, we can. This, the, um... You want to get the old flux away. Flux, yeah. I or was... the new flux, actually. And the new flux isn't hard yet, so it should just kind of wipe up. You can see it. It's kind of glossy down on the edge of the board. Is that one good on that side? Yeah, that's good. That looks great. Okay, go ahead and put it back in the shell. So it goes this way because there's a giant hole there. There's a giant hole there, right. And then there's a little thing. And then lid. Don't get the sticker caught in it. There you go. And then clean it. Well, we should probably put that screw back in. Also that, too. Where did my screw... Oh, there's my screwdriver. That's got a little magnet. It'll kind of hold it in the tip. Perfect. I think that's in. That looks perfect. Now we can clean it. But don't use the side that you used on the flex. Right. Use the clean side. Oh, it's a little stuck. All right, what's the Q-tip look like? Well, it's not too bad. A little bit of green. Just find a fresh side and do it again. All right. Okay. Get our little machine. Where's our machine? Oh, there's the machine. All right, now this is a Game Boy color game. Okay? Yes. Not a Game Boy Advance game. So we need to make sure it's five volts. What's this first little one say? Three V. Three V and? Five V. Okay, is it on five volts? Um, Which way is five volts, up or down? Up, up. Okay, so we switched it to up. Flip the cartridge over and stick it in the port. Perfect. Oh, wait. That's fine. It's probably hanging down and hitting the board inside. We can't help that. Go ahead and turn it on. And then... Game Boy, or Game Boy, GB, or Game Boy. Oh, wait. Can't go fast. You have to give it a, one click at a time. I forgot. Game Boy. Game, Game Boy, Boy Color. That's fine. Oh. What's it say? Uh... Pokemon G, which I'm assuming Pokemon is Gold. Yeah, right. Gold. Go ahead and hit en enter. We can write, go to the er, to write a, save. We can write the save. And then GB? GB. Save. And then find Pokemon G. Pokemon G. How many are in there? I can't quite see it. Just Eleven. the one? Go ahead and hit enter. And go ahead and hit enter. Let's see if it writes the save. What's it say? Spam writing finished, verified OK. Press S button. SRAM. Oh. This is File OK. So it, it read it and it verified it. Oh. Go ahead and turn it off. Oh, I went up. And take it out. All right, that's pretty much it. You successfully changed two Ooh, batteries. Yay! So, you ready to solder some charge control chips into a switchboard? Maybe. <laughs>
So, all right, thanks for uh, helping us out today. So for anybody out there who is interested in electronics, some of the, the basic things like uh, changing a battery, um, it's a good place to start. It gives you good hands-on with knowing what side, if there's, you know, if things are polar or not, um, and it gives you good soldering techniques, and it gives you skills that you can build on. So anyway, thanks for my helper. And thanks for everybody who's watching today. And, you know, we'd appreciate a thumbs up and uh, hitting that subscribe and bell button if, yep. uh, if, you, if you want. And uh, if for some reason you have to hit that thumbs down button, please leave a comment. Let us know what we can do to improve the uh, content. But for now, thanks for joining us, and we'll catch you on the next video. Bye!